Hello, I'm down here at the YMCA in Des Moines, Iowa for a swim meet for my kids. And uh, they're doing warm ups and we can't go in yet. So I'm gonna walk down the hall here and find a spot to do this puzzle. Um, it'll be a little bit different than my normal videos because I won't really be able to film myself while I'm solving, but I'll take some pictures and um, include my commentary as I'm, what I'm thinking as I'm going through. So we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. I found a spot. I'm in the Skywalk here in Des Moines. There's the Capitol down there. You can have a seat here in the hallway and take a look at this puzzle. This is Average Arrow Sandwiches by Philip Bloom, also known as Glum Hippo. Um, we've got uh, normal Sudoku rules. There's Sandwich Sudoku. The numbers on the outside of the grid give you the sum of the digits between the one and the nine, like usual. The arrows are a little bit of a different kind of thing, so rather than the circle being the sum of the digits on the arrow, the circle is actually the average of all the digits on the arrow. Other than that, uh, it's basic stuff, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to really film myself while I'm working on this. I'm just gonna have to kinda take some pictures as I make progress, and uh, I'll talk you through my thinking, like usual. Um, so, the first thing I usually look at is longer arrows because they're going to be the most restricted, right? Now, it's not going to be quite the same with these because they're averages instead of sums, but you're still going to be somewhat restricted because if you think about, like, let's say an arrow you took up a whole row, right? You'd have the digits 1 through 9, and you would know what the average was because you'd know all the digits. So the more uh, unique digits we have, the more restricted the, the averages are going to be. So... Um, I'm, I'm drawn immediately to this one in row one because it's six cells long. They all have to be different because the arrow is all in one row. Um, so I guess, you know, we could think about the minimums and the maximums, right? So the minimum would be one through six, the numbers one through six, which is going to be uh, average of three and a half. Oh, so right. So, so I didn't, I guess it's obvious, but I didn't even think about the fact that you're going to need the, the average to be an integer. So, so I guess what that means is the sum of the digits on the arrows is always going to have to be a multiple of the number of cells, right? So the first, this one in row one is going to have to be a multiple of six for the total. Um, and like a two digit arrow is going to have to be an even number. It's going to have to be a multiple of two. The three digit arrow will have to be a multiple of three. So so 1 through 6 is 21 total. So if 21 is the minimum, then actually 24 is going to be the minimum, essentially, because we, we have to have a multiple of 6. So we could do 24, we could do 3. So what's the maximum we can do? Uh, so 4 through 9, that's going to be 39. So actually 36 is our maximum. So we only have 24, 30, or 36 for totals there. And that gives us a four, five, or six for our average in the circle. Okay, so I guess we could look at the one going down in kind of column eight and nine. It's not quite as good because there could be a repeated digit on there, but but it could still be helpful. So. Uh, I guess the minimum would be 1, 2, 3, and 4 in column 8, and then you could have a 1 in column 9. So that would be 11, but it has to be a multiple of 5, so actually 15 is going to be our minimum there. It has to be a multiple of 5 because there's 5 cells. Uh, the maximum would be 9, 8, 7, 6, which is 30 plus another, so 39 as the maximum, so actually 35. So I guess we can... That one's not as limited, um, but it's a little bit. So it's three, four, five, six, or seven for our average. It's a little bit limited. Um, let's see. Oh, it can't be seven because we've got that given seven down in the bottom corner. So actually, the total can't be over thirty. Okay. Well. That's something. So we've got a three, four, five, six, and a four, five, six there. So I guess there's not there's not a lot we can do 
with the arrows, I don't think, at this point, with the other ones, because there's just too many options. Like, even this long one that kind of angles down from box 5 to box 9, because you can have repeated digits, it could be... I mean, it could be as small as 1-1 one, one with a 1 and a 2. I mean, you could go down as 5. So, I guess 8 would be the minimum there. Yeah, there's going to be too many options. So, um, now... Ah, well, one thing we can say is you can't have a 1 or a 9 on any of the circles, I suppose, because let's say you only had two cells on the arrow. Even for it to average 1 or 9, it'd have to have two 1s or two 9s, and I don't see anywhere that's possible. Now, we have a couple that just have a one cell arrow, and obviously that's going to be the same digit as is in the circle, but both of those also have longer arrows attached to them, so they can't just be 1s or 9s. So we're a little bit limited on 1s and 9s. 8s and 2s are going to be pretty restricted as well. But you could do it on like the 2-cell arrows, or where there's repeated digits. You might be able to do an 8 or a 2. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we should look at the sandwiches. Um, we've got a couple of there's not a lot of big numbers. Um, there's a couple of semi-big numbers, though. So um, I like to kind of shade uh, cells that can't be 1 and 9. So let's see, the 28. I think 28 you have to have... Uh, I think you have to have at least 4. Is it 5, maybe, even? Can you do 5? I think you can do 5. I don't think you can do 4, though takes at least five cells. So we can actually shade rows four, five, and six in column three. And then for the 23 and the 22 and I believe the 19, let me think, 19 can be, no, 19 can be in three, yeah, so you can't do it. But for the 23 and the 22, it takes at least four. So we can shade the center cell of those as not one or nine. Um, and we can also just kind of know that the circles are not one or nine as well. So we're already getting pretty limited right here in uh, row five. So we know that there's a one or a nine for the 23 um, because of the circles and the shading. There's a one or nine in column one there. And so the other one has to be on the right side there in box six, but I don't think we know where yet. Oh, and actually, right, no, we do know. So the other one in nine has to be in column seven because since there's 23 in the sandwich plus the one in the nine that are the, the crusts, that's 33. The whole row has to be 45, so we need to have 12 on the outside, which is going to take at least two cells. So. Um, so we can place the 1 and the 9 there. Okay, so we're making some progress. Now, the 6. The 6 has to either be 1 or 2, so it's either going to have to be a 6 or a 2, 4. But I'm not really seeing... Yeah, I think there's too many options there. Let's see. So 22 needs at least four. Right, so we can actually shade one more cell because of the, the seven that's given. Now, what else can we do? Let's see. The, so the 28, so we know that there's one of the one nines is up in box one for the 28, and one of them is in box seven. Okay, so that tells us a little bit about the zero, actually, because the zero in row two uh, is going to have to have two cells in a row now that are one nine. I suppose it could be both on that arrow, and so it could be in column three and four of row two, but it can't be in column one. We know that much. What about the 14? Do we know anything about the 14? It seems like that that whole row is pretty open. Okay, what about the 19? Down in column 9. 
we're running out of, we don't, we've already got two at the top and the seven at the bottom that can't be ones and nines. So we've already got limited down to four. I think you can do 19 and three though. If it was four, seven, eight, or five, six, eight, yeah, four, seven, eight, five, six, eight. Uh, oh, well, it can't be four, seven, eight because we've got the seven in the bottom. So it would have to be five, six, eight if it was a three cell. Now, if it was five, six, eight, I can see that would give us a four and a three in our circles at the top. Now, I'm wondering if that's possible because that four is going to mean we only have 24 on our arrow. And if there's 24 on the arrow, that leaves 21 not on the arrow because it's 45 total for the row. And yeah, yeah, so you can't do that because you'd have three and you'd have to have 18 in those two on the left side and you can't make 18 in two cells. So we can't have five, six, eight because it would force four and three which wouldn't work up there. So in fact, cool, that gives us the one nine because we need four cells in between for the 19. Okay. So we're making some progress with our ones and nines here. Um, let's see. Good. So the 13, I feel like there's something we can do with the 13 across the top because we know the arrow has to be 24, 30, or 36. The 13 sandwich with the one and the nine is 23. But we don't necessarily know that all of that is on the arrow. So I guess that's not super helpful then, is it? Okay, so, oh, but we've got a 1, 9 for the 6 now. Right, right, so that should be helpful. So it's either... Yeah, so it has to be, yeah, yeah, because it has to be a two cell, because if it was a one cell, we'd have a one or a nine in a circle, which isn't going to work. So, and that has to be two and four in between. Now, if it was, so, so the total, right, and since it's two or four for the average, the total has to be four or eight, so it can't be the nine in there. It has to be the one with a three or a seven. Okay, so that's going to give us some of our ones and nines. Okay, and we can also look at the what's outside of the sandwich in column nine. So, since the inside is 19 plus the one and nine is 29, we need 16 on the outside. We got the seven, so the two at the top in the circles need to total nine. So that gets rid of our six in the top corner. So it's either got to be three six or four five. So, let's see, can th would 3, 6 work? If it's 6, it's got to be 36 for the arrow, which would leave 9 on the outside. Yeah, that's certainly possible. 3, yeah, you could do that. So 6 and 3, I think, would work. Um, so I guess for our 19 sandwich, we've got 2 and 8 with either 3, 6, or 4, 5. Uh, okay, our 23, we need to have 12 on the outside, right? It can't be 9 and 3. It could be 8 and 4 or 7 and 5. But if it's 7 and 5, it would have to be in the correct order for the, the 7 down below. Okay. So, interesting. So, That tells me that if we have a four or five in our circles at the top, it's gonna have to be an eight in row five down there for column nine. But I'm not sure what else that tells us, I guess. I guess we can pencil mark twos in there because of the two four down below. Okay, oh, we've got our one in our Column, well, column six with the 12, right? So it's got to be two or three. It can't be two. It can't be two because it would put a one nine in that circle. So I think it has to be three. I don't think you can go four, 
right? The minimum you can do with 4 is 2, 3, 4, and 5, which is 14, right? So 2 is going to have to be 3. So that's going to be a 9 right there. Now, I'm not sure we know much about what's in that 12 sandwich, though, unfortunately. Ah, ah, 28 sandwich. Right, so since we have our 1, 9 in row 8 for the 6, that rules out row 8 for our 28 sandwich as being a 1, 9, and we have the circle in row 7, so it's got to be in row 9. And let's see, so it could be in 2 or 3 at the top, I suppose. Because you could have a 7 for the outside, or you could have... 2, 5, or 3, 4. And if it was in 2, you'd have the 1 and the 9 in um, columns 3 and 4 of row 2, but I think that's okay. I'm not seeing why that wouldn't work. Okay, uh, oh, our 14. Right, so we've got the 9 now in column 6 for the row with 14 uh, sandwich. So... We can't go to the right because you need at least two cells to make 14, and we can't put one in column 9. That's already taken. Uh, if we go to the left, we need 3. Can we go 4? 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, you can because 2, 3, 4, 5 is 14. So it could be in column 1 or column 2 over there. So there's a one and one of those two. Now, let's see, what else can we do? So we've got the 12 sandwich, we've got the 28 almost figured out. We've got the 23, the six, what about the 22? Okay, the 22, so we need to have, what do we say, at least three? I think, can you do it? In th 3, 22 and 3, 22, I don't think you can do it without a, no, because 6, 7, and 8 is only 21, so you need at least 4. Right, so that's going to give us the 1 there, which then gives us the 9. Ah, I'm perfect, so that, right, because that means that the the top part of the 28 sandwich, the, uh, the top crust, has to have a 1, and so it can't be in row 3, because we already have a 1 in row 3, so it's got to be in row 2, which is then going to give us the 9. Perfect. Okay, now, now that tells me that, so we've already got 10 on that arrow, and it needs to be a multiple of 3, so it's going to have to be, what, a 2, a 5, or an 8. Now if it's 5, that's going to make the average 5, so you can't do a 5, so it's got to be 2 or 8, which is going to give an average of 4 or 6. Now, let's see, what else can we do? Oh, now we know, right, because there's only one cell outside on the 28 sandwich, so that has to be a 7. So that's our first digit that's not a 1 or a 9, and it's another 7. We already had a, a 7 to start with as a given. Uh, that's interesting. Now, that 7, is that going to help us with our 13, don't know that it is. Oh, but we know our 1 and our 9 for the 23, don't we? Because we have to have a 1 in column 1 or 2 of row 4. And so whichever one is the 1 there, the 9 is going to have to be the 1 in row 5. So that's going to give us our 1 and 9 in row 5. Okay, so now we know there's a 9 in column two of box one, but we don't know which which row it's in yet. All right, let's see, what else do we know? There's a one in row one of box two. It's got two options there. We know where the, there's two options for the one in box seven as well. Okay, let's see. I'm wondering, I'm probably going to have to start looking at the arrows here. Uh, maybe we can do, wait, what about the outside on the 22? 
that's going to be 32, it can give us 13 on the outside, and we've got 7, so, oh, that's, so that has to be 2, 4, because we need 6 in those two cells over there. And so then that is going to put a 2, 4 in column, or in row 7 of box 8 there, but, so it's a 2, 4, not, oh, the 9, yeah, 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 no, 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 we know the 9. What am I doing? We can't have the 9, and the 9's got to be in the middle because of the 9's up above. But that's going to give us a 2-4 two two, pair in row 7. Okay. Making good progress. So, three, five, six, seven, and 8 to finish row 8. Are all of those possible? I'm wondering. So, the 7 has to be in row 8 of box 8 because of the given 7 and the fact that the 7 can't be in row 7. Now, can we have a 7 in the circle? We would need 28 on the 4-cell arrow. The maximum we could have would be 8 and 6 in those two in row 8. You could do 8, 6, 7, which is 21. And then, yeah, you could have a, th uh, a 7 at the end of the arrow. Yeah, I think that's possible. No, you can't, because if you did 8, 6, 7, right, right, right. If you did 8, 6, 7, then, but you could repeat the 8, 8, 6, 8, I don't know if it's possible, because you can't have a 9. Eight, if you had 8 and 6, and then an 8 up above. So, I don't think that you can actually get 28 there. I'm not seeing it, so I'm going to, I think the 7 has to be in column 5 of row 8 there. I'm, I'm about 90... 7% sure <laughs> that has to be a 7. Uh, I'm just going to go with it and hope that it doesn't backfire on me. So that 7 is then going to give us, uh, so it's 7 and 1, so the total is 8. So the average is going to be 4, which is going to give us the 4 and the 2 uh, in box 9. So now that angling one that goes kind of from box 5 down to box 9, I'm thinking, you know, we got 1 and 4, that's 5. It's 2 or 4 on the next one. So we've either got 7 or 9 there, right? And it has to be a multiple of 4. So let's see, we could have 1 in that fourth cell, which would give us a 2 average. Uh, if it was 8, you could have, you could do 12 with a, a 5 or a 3. It's what did I say seven, seven or nine, yeah. So you could do a three or a five to get to twelve, which would be an average of th three. Oh, well, we can't do three to get to twelve because then that would have a three in the circle. So you'd have to have five. So it'd have to be seven and five. Uh, what about sixteen? If it's yeah, so if it's 7, you would need a 9, but you can't use a 9. If it's 9 already, you could, you, 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 oh, you'd you have to have a 7, and you can't have a 7, because we have a 9 and a 7 down below already. So you can't get to 16. Can you get to 20? No, you can't get to 20. So it has to be 7 plus 1 or 5. So that's got to be a 2, then, in column 6. So that's going to disambiguate our 2, 4 in box 8 there. All right, good. So three, five, six, or eight are our options for that circle there. Um, there's no way it could be eight, right? You'd have to get to 36. And the, the, the eight, six, seven, eight is the maximum you can do, which is, yeah, no, you can't get that high. Uh, what about six? That would be 24. Eight, six, yeah, I think you can get to 24. So we could do three, five, or six there. Uh, so there's definitely an 8 down at the bottom, which means there's definitely an 8. Uh, 
I don't know if that's going to be helpful. There's definitely an 8 over in box 7 of row 8. Not sure what that's going to do for us, though. Uh, there's definitely 3, 5, or 6. Okay, so the, because of the circle, we can write our 3, 5, 6 into the other circle. And so now, I guess that... So yeah, so the, the 4 cells, the little L-shaped 4 cell arrow in box 7, has to be the the same average as the three cell arrow in box five. Ah, I can see that whatever's on the circle is gonna have to be in uh, column seven, row nine though, just because of normal Sudoku stuff. Uh, and we, well, we have got a 1-7 pair in uh, row 7, box 7 there. Okay. So... I'm wondering if... if 3 is a possibility in those circles down there. If it's 3... Right, right, because the 4-cell arrow is going to have to total 12. But if it's 3, the minimum I can put in those two cells to the left of it are 5 and 6. And the minimum you can put, yeah, so your, your minimum just in uh, box 7 is 12. And then you've still got to add in that extra cell that's in box 4. So it can't be 3. It's got to be 5 or 6. And that's true for both of those circles then. Okay, so the 3 and the 8 are definitely over there, but not necessarily on the arrow. Maybe we should look at our longer arrows again in row 1 and columns 8 and 9. Uh, let's see, so... If it was 3 at the top corner, would have to total 15. The minimum I can do, but I've already got a 1 and a 2 in column 8, so the minimum I can do in column 8 there is 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 18 already. The minimum is 18 just for those 4, so you can't do 15. You can't do 15, so that can't be a 3, which means it can't be 3, 6, it's got to be 4, 5. Perfect, which gives us the 8 down below and the 4. Okay, so those other three are going to have to be 2, 3, and 6. So, four, five, six. so I guess we could still do 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2, which would give us 20, right, which would be 4. So the, across the top now has to be 24 or 30. Can't be 36 anymore because the average has to be 4 or 5. So 24, let's, let's think about this. So if it's 24, then it has to be 21 on the outside. If it's 24, there has to be a 5 in the top right corner because the 4 is in our circle in row 2. So... We would need 21 with a 5, which is going to be... Right, which I don't think you can do, right? We didn't have to have uh, 21 with 5... Yeah, you'd have to 16, which would be 9 and 7. So... Can't do that. So it can't be the 5. So that has to be the 4 with the 5 in row 2. And so that means that our arrow across the top is 30. Because so we need six cells and it has to average five. So it has to sum to 30. So on the outside is going to be 15 and we have a four. So we need 11 on the other side. So it could be two, nine or three, eight. Two, nine or three, eight. But we've also got our 13 sandwich.
Now, if the sandwich goes to the, if we use the nine uh, in box one, then we'd have seven, six, one. You'd have the two over there. I think that I think that works. Hmm. There might be a reason why that doesn't, but I'm not seeing it immediately. So. Or it could go to the right. Now, if you have 13 plus the 1 and the 9, that's 23. We need to get 30 plus 7. So, so it would have to go all the way over to, um, it would have to go from column 4 to column 8 if the 9 was on the right side. If the 9's on the left side, it would have to be the 1 in column 5. So, what else can we do? I'm thinking, can we do anything with, I keep coming back to these circles in the bottom left corner. Not sure. So if it's five, the total has to be 20. You could have eight, six, one, five, yeah. I think there's quite a few options there. Oh, well, I should write in the, the two, three, I guess, that, that one cell arrow. Not that it does anything for us, but you never know. Could become useful later on. Is there anything we need to do with the sandwiches? Um, it's easy to just look at the, the arrows and forget the sandwiches, or just look at the sandwiches and forget the arrows. Either way. I think... So the 12, I can see we've got to have... Ten, we've got the 2 in between, so we need 10 can't obviously be 1, 9. It can't be 8, 2. It could be 3, 7, or 4, 6. If it's 4, 6, it has to be the right direction to avoid the 4 on the right side. Unfortunately, 4, 6, I think, is still a possibility there. Now, Interesting. So the two cells, so we have that three cell arrow coming up into box five from box seven. Now the two cells in row four, uh, row five, we, they can't be a one or a four, obviously, because of the right side. But you can't do two and three because there's a two, three pencil marks in that circle in column four. So actually, Two five, I guess, would be the minimum we could do. So seven. Oh, and actually, it can't even be two five because three, three seven. So three five is our minimum. Three five. That's already eight. And then if we did three five, we could have. I mean, then we'd have to have a six. That's fourteen. Yeah, that's still less than the the options for five and six, though. It's not real helpful, I guess. Okay, what about what about our arrow in column two, that two cell arrow? The short ones don't seem like they're very helpful, but actually, that one's somewhat limited because of the numbers we already have in row five. So we know it has to be an even number. It can't be four or eight. So it has to be two or no, it doesn't have to be an even number. The total of the two digits has to be an even number. Right, right, right. Okay. So, it could be, it could be two if it was one and three. It could be four if, yeah. There's quite a few options there, I guess. Well, it can't be four, because they have a four. It could be two, three, five, 
six, seven. Yeah, I think all of those are possible, so. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Our, our arrow over in column eight and nine, we said that had to be 20, but I think 20 was our minimum we could do, right? Three, four, five, six, two. Right, 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 so that's the minimum, of course. So that gives us a five, three, six pair, a two. I said that the minimum it could be was 20, and then once I figured out it had to be 20, I didn't bother <laughs> writing in the minimums. Okay, maybe that'll help. So now we have seven, eight, and nine for the column of for eight column eight, and row seven is only option is eight. So that gives us a seven. Oh, and the seven and the nine is disambiguated by the seven at the top. Okay. Now we're moving along. So that leaves two, seven, and eight for column seven up there in box three. Oh, and more importantly, we have our nine now for row one. So that gives us three, eight outside the sandwich, or outside the arrow, I guess, sorry, not the sandwich. And now that gives us our one because we know the arrow is 30 because it has to average five. And since the arrow is 30 and the sandwich is contained on the arrow, the sandwich is 13 plus the one and nine for crust is 23 plus the seven that's already on the arrow is our 30. So we can't have any other digits outside of the sandwich that are on the arrow. So it's gonna give us our one there, which is also gonna give us the one in box five. Nice. Now, uh, the three eight pair in row one is going to give us the two over in box three. Oh, and we've got now that we've got the one on the arrow uh, down below, that gives us a total of eight. So that's a two for the the average. And that's going to give us the other two on the single cell arrow as well. Great. Now, what else do we know? Twos. Uh, oh, we've got the nine in box six now, because it's the only spot left. Gives us a three, six pair in row four. And that 3-6 pair tells us that the 14 has to be a 3-cell, because 4-cells would need to be 2, 3, 4, 5. It would need to be the minimum to get 14, so it can't have the 3. So it has to be a 3-cell, which is going to give us the 1 in box 4, and disambiguate the 1-7 in box 7. All right, I feel like we're maybe breaking things open here. Uh, okay, we've got a... Th Three, five, six to pencil mark in box nine there. Now, I want to look at that arrow over there. So we've already got a nine. It needs to be an even, right, it needs to be an even number because it's a two cell arrow. Um, so it has to be an even number. So it has to be with an odd, two odds added together make an even. So you can't have the six there. So we've got a three or a five which means the total is 12 or 14, so it's gotta be a six or a seven for the circle. Okay, now, what do we look at next? Uh, oh, well across row one we can put in, I guess, uh, what, five and six? Yep, five and six, pencil mark those in. So, we need four, seven, and eight to finish off row four. Oh, and the 14, right, so, right, so we've got the one, nine, the two is in there, so we need 12 more to finish the 14 sandwich, which has to be the four and the eight, which gives us the seven on the left side. 
And that's going to give us the 7. Right, the 7 in box 5, just by normal Sudoku now, has to be in that circle. So for that to be a 7, that has to be a 14 total. So that's going to give us the 5 uh, on the arrow there. And disambiguate the, the 3, 5, and 6 in box 9. Which is then going to give us the 3 and the 6 up above in box 6. And that 5 is going to give us the, the 6 in row 7, which is on our circle. And that's going to give us both those circles. Perfect. So now we know that our total in box 5 has to be 18. We've got the 7. So we need 11. It can't be 9 and 2. It can't be 3 and 8 because we have the 4, 8 pair. It can't be 4, 7 because we have the 4, 8 pair. So it has to be 5 and 6. 5 and 6. And the 6 in box 8 gives us the order of those. Uh, and actually, we get the 3 in that box as well. I could have already had that. So now to finish off row 5, we need 3 and 5. Three and five. Now the three five on that circle, we've already got a one on the arrow, so we need the total to be six or ten, so it's got to be a five or a nine. Uh, oh, we already have that nine, we just haven't written it in. Yeah, normal Sudoku gives us that nine, so that's ten. It gives us a five for the circle, which also gives us the three next to it. Uh, oh, we should have the, we can get the 4 and the 8 in row 4 because of the 4 down below. Not sure how long that's been sitting there, but there you go. Now, what's next? So let's just, let's look at box 4 maybe. What do we need? 4, 6, and 8. 4, 6, and 8. Well, there's the 6 down below. 4, 6, yeah. Okay. 3, 5, and 8, across row 8, there's already the 5, so we have a 3, 8 pair for the column, so that gives us a 4, 6 in uh, row 6 of column 2, and that's going to give us a 4, 6 pair in row 6, which is going to give us the 8 in box 4. Perfect. Now. Oh, and that 4, 6 is disambiguated by the, the 6 right below it, of course. Wait a minute, I'm not sure I did that right, actually. I'm going to erase the 4, 6, and 8. I think I might have. So the 3, 5, 8 across row 8 gives the 3, 8. Okay, so that's good. So we have 4, 6 on the arrow there but I think it's 4-8 to the right of it, so it's not a 4-6 pair. Okay. Whew. I thought that seemed wrong for a second there, because I, I wrote the 4... I thought I used the 6 below to get rid of a digit, but I think I wrote 4-6 instead of 4-8 there. So... We don't actually know that yet. And it's possible that that's right, and I would have gotten lucky, but... It's also possible that it's wrong. And that one of the things uh, that I've learned with doing pencil and paper is there's no undo button. So you, if you make a mistake, you can't really, you have to remember what, what you've done to try and undo. You can't undo a whole bunch. Um, ah, but we do have a 4-6 pair in column 2, which is going to give us the 2 and the 4 down below. So that's helpful. My phone is now telling me that my battery is getting low, so hopefully I can finish this puzzle up quick. Uh, okay, so we got... All right, in row 8, we've got 5, 8 there. 3, 5, 8 there. Let's see, for column 3, 4, 5, and 8, and we have a 3, 8 pair at the top, so that's got to be 4, 5.
Okay, what about this, oh, this other arrow down here, the, the L-shaped one in box seven. So we've got the six in the circle. So the total has to be 24. We've already got seven, so the, the other three cells need to be 17. If we do five, eight, four, if we did six, we would need 11, which would be eight and three. So it's either eight and three or eight and five. So the eight has to be on the arrow there. I think we've used all the sandwich stuff. Okay, so it's got to be arrows. Oh, the, air, uh, the the one up here in box two that doesn't have anything in the circle. We've got all the digits. We don't know wh which one is the seven and the eight, but we know there's a seven and eight on there. So that's 15 and nine is 24. So that has to be eight. Eight, okay, so that's gonna give us the seven and the eight on the arrow then. And that eight is also gonna give us the the two on the other arrow to the left, and so now that's 12, so the average is four, which gives us the number in the circle. And that four is then gonna give us the six down below, which means that has to be five, eight to finish off that arrow, if I remember correctly, because it needs to be 24. No, 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 it has to be three, eight. Sorry, it's the other way around. The six goes with the three, eight. And that three bounces back up to box one to give us the three and the eight up there. The, the eight gives us the four and the five up above in column three. We've also got the, the eight in box four. Uh, what do we have left in box one, two, and six, which we can get from the two in row two. And that six is gonna give us the three six in box three. I think we're nearing the completion here. Uh, oh, we can get the five six in row one from the six down below. We still need three, four, and seven in row three. Three, four, and seven. There's a three, seven already in column six. So that's gonna give us the four. We need three and seven. There's a seven in column five already. All right, and now I think we just have to finish off box eight. We need three, five, and eight. The three is gonna go in row, or column four. The eight in column five and the five in column six. And I think that is gonna finish off the puzzle. All right, well that was Average Arrow Sandwiches by Philip Bloom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it was a lot of fun, it was a little bit different kind of video. A little bit different doing pencil and paper and doing pictures, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Give me something to do while I was waiting for the swim meet to start. Now I'm gonna go watch my kids swim really loud for him. Uh, see you guys again soon. Bye. Fireman! He might hear.